Vanavond vindt hier in Theater Lievekamp de première plaats van Woodstock The Story. En Woodstock is een legendarisch festival in 1969 en werd ook dit album uitgebracht waarop dit koppel staat afgebeeld. En 49 jaar later zijn zij nog steeds bij elkaar en ze zijn hier in Os. Ik ga met ze in gesprek. Well, thank you uh, for having us. How is it to be, to be in Holland? It's our first time here and um, I love it. I feel as if I've been here before. The ancientness of it is um, overwhelming to me. And how is the weather? Uh, fortunately, I love rain. <laughs> you love rain. <laughs> I do. So this is the country for you? Uh, yes, this is. Um, I, I, I love the, uh, his, the history of the place, um, the museums, uh, the people, the streets, the buildings, especially the buildings because I'm a, I'm a retired carpenter. I love structures like the, the, that you see. Um, people are friendly. We're having a great time. And for those who weren't uh, at uh, Woodstock at that time, um, can you describe the, um, the feeling, the, the Woodstock lifestyle? Um, I, I don't know if it's, you call it a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the time, it was um, a lot of happiness, a lot of uh, let's have fun, let's let's share, um, let's enjoy the music. It's it's uh, the music basically had messages to tell our generation of things that were going on at the time, and uh, let's let's listen to it and let's live it. So, what was your reaction when you discovered you on the album? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Um, a, little, a little shocked. Um, I decided at that time I should probably tell my mother that I went. <laughs> <laughs> it was a secret that you gave? Well, not exactly. I had an apartment with several other girls, so I wasn't living at home. I was 20. But I thought, mm, it might be a good idea. And, you know, the initial reaction was, was surprise. And we told all our friends about the, the album cover, our photo. And... Um, Everybody thought it was, oh, that's pretty cool, but what are we going to do tonight? So they didn't really, it didn't really carry on at that time. Um, so we just let it go, and, and uh, it took about 20 years before people started to become nostalgic about Woodstock and uh, appreciate the fact that, you know, your photo's on the, the cover of the album. So what happened in these years afterwards? I heard you went to opera as well? We did. We did. Um, up until the 20th anniversary, Woodstock was pretty much um, history. People really weren't interested in it. Um, but f when we were identified in Life magazine at the 20th anniversary, from that time on, um, the interest catapulted um, not only in uh, the United States, but around the world. And um, I think the further we get away from the actual event, the more we realize What a phenomenon that was. All those people under very harsh conditions and no violence. Um, it's my understanding that two people did pass away. Uh, one in a hospital um, and one young fellow uh, fell asleep in a farm field and a tractor ran him over by accident. That was the extent of 500,000 people and their violence, none. You know, as Bobby mentions that number 500,000, um, people don't realize the fact that there was 500,000 people on the actual site, but that there was another million people trying to get there on the roads that were blocked and clogged with, with, with people. Uh, they couldn't get the buses through, they couldn't get food through, uh, deliveries, they couldn't clean the portage sands, the portable toilets, they couldn't clean them out, they just couldn't get there. So, Do you still come at the fields? Oh yeah, um, the original site is owned by a nonprofit, Bethel Woods Center for the Performing Arts. We volunteer there at the museum, and we also do the artist tours when they have um, uh, concerts and shows and events. And it's our privilege to drive an eight-man golf cart, and we drive the artists. And I drive. I drive. She doesn't <laughs> okay. drive. I uh, talk. Yeah, I do talks. the talking, <laughs> and we take them all over the grounds to the monument, to the meticulous. Uh, park setting, the grounds. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience for us and them. Well, thank you for this interview and uh, enjoy the premiere tonight. Thank you very much. I hope Thanks. you do as well. And we hope everybody comes and enjoys tonight.
Thank you.